Welcome back to Grade 7 Geography, Unit Number 2, Our World's Natural Resources, Use and Sustainability. This is Lesson Number 16, What Are Renewable Resources? As we learned last class, renewable resources are resources that can regrow or reproduce as long as it is not overused. We use renewable resources to meet our needs and wants for food, medicine, shelter, and material things such as clothes and furniture. Some examples of renewable resources include soil, for farming, fish for food, and trees for firewood. When someone asks where our food comes from, we tend to say, from the store. The real answer is, almost all of our food comes from the soil. Without soil, farmers would not be able to raise livestock and grow crops. The human population would be greatly affected by this. Soil is renewable because it can renew itself. The health of the soil affects what type of soil can grow in an area, and the type of soil in an area determines what types of foods can be grown. Fish are able to reproduce on their own, making them a renewable resource. Fish are a valuable source of food for over 1 billion people, as well as various livestock and pets. Scientists have found that eating fish carries a number of health benefits. As a result, more people are switching from eating red meat to eating fish. This, in turn, is causing the demand for fish to increase around the world. Forests are considered a renewable resource since new trees can be grown from seeds. In as little as 30 years, a tree can be cut down and used for firewood, processed into lumber, or manufactured into material goods. A tree can also be left alone so that it becomes a home for different species. Forests are very important to local ecosystems. Trees store water that can be released into the atmosphere, keeping moisture in the air, which is an important part of the water cycle. A tree's roots hold the soil together, preventing soil erosion, thereby allowing more trees and plants to grow. Trees absorb carbon dioxide, a major greenhouse gas which causes global warming. Trees also produce oxygen, which all life needs to breathe. Earth is home to a huge variety of species. There are an estimated 8.7 million known species on the planet. However, the World Wildlife Fund estimates that at least 10,000 species become extinct each year. This is happening because we have destroyed their habitats and over-harvested plants and animals to meet our needs and wants. Too many people have focused more on making money from natural resources and less on the damages to the environment. The WWF says that it takes the Earth 12 months to produce what we use in 9 months. That means we are using resources faster than the Earth can produce them. This needs to be taken seriously because our health and livelihood depend on the health of our planet. The good news is that we can change the way we use Earth's resources in order to sustain the balance of life on Earth. Uh, and this image here just shows how uh, since 1961, the WWF's logo has changed. And here's a question for you to think about and for us to discuss tomorrow. Why do you think the WWF 
uses the panda for its logo. Okay, I'm going to read these three questions and we're going to discuss our thoughts in class tomorrow. Um, the first one is, how do you, like you personally, use soil, fish, and trees? Question number two, do we do things that waste soil, fish, or trees? Number three, what things can we do to keep a balance of life on Earth? Now, if it helps you to uh, come up with ideas for these three questions, uh, please feel free to go back and watch this video again. You can watch it as many times as you feel necessary to help you understand uh, the contents of today's lesson. And I would advise you, uh, before you close this video, to put it on pause, uh, just so that you've got the questions in front of you, so that you can consider your answers, and then we'll share our responses in class tomorrow. But for now, this concludes today's video.